I'll have to have you hit that when it's time. That's fine. I always, I always do when I upload it to YouTube. All right. We may not have anybody get on here right away today. Where's your phone? Can we use that as a, a timer? Oh, and it's funny. The little llama's creeping behind us. black iPad. Can you get that? It's, I think it's, um, oh, here we go. Here's some friends. Hello, Miss Kathy. How are you? How are you doing, Miss Kathy? Looks like we have some other friends on here. I'm going to give it a couple minutes and then we're going to get started. We're going to do a llama today. It's good. I was glad to come inside. We've been catching up on lots of yard work, haven't we? Hello, Sarah. Is it getting warm up north? Thank you. Oh, yes. Jilly's living her best colored hair life. She's been wanting pink hair forever. So, shout out to Christine Sagan, Cara's mom, who hooked her up with some pink shampoo. So, it's like this wash in stuff. So, it's pretty awesome. Hi, Teddy. I love that name. Did I tell you my brother's name is Ted? And he was always Teddy when we were mm -hmm. little. Yeah, he always went by. And my mom's nickname when she was a little girl was Teddy. Hello, Robin. How is everybody? It's so beautiful here today. We've had like three or four days of rain, which I'm grateful for because we've needed, but it's sunny today and I'm feeling much more energetic. I was wanting to sit on the couch and do nothing all weekend. How about you? Smile. Always. <laughs> She's working on her smile face. All right. You guys ready? So I thought it would be fun. You can actually, I didn't even, I did not plan this, but this one llama I had painted um, last year at a workshop is peeking over our shoulder. So that's kind of fun. So anyway, what we're going to do today is I thought it'd be fun to do a llama. And I found a picture of a llama um, on, I've been seeing lots of pictures of llamas, of course, and I, everybody loves a good llama, even though sometimes they're not very nice, but they're pretty funny. So we um, are going to do a llama in its face, and I'm going to do it today. So on my little list, when I um, first put up my list of supplies, I had actually put um, Crayola markers on there, and we haven't really used those yet. And I wanted to show you how I actually, well, one, you can use them like traditional markers, or two, you can actually use them to paint with if you do not have watercolor paints, or it's a fun way for kids to paint with, or adults as well. I've done it at adult workshops at retreats where we use these pens and this these are just Crayola ones but I also have just some of these cheap crazy art ones and these will work as well um, hello Tracy hello Miss Thomas and Heidi I'm gonna use watercolor paper today because I'm going to be using these markers and I'm going to be bringing in some water with them so I have got watercolor paper right here I have some Crayola markers and some 
crazy art markers and then a lot of those double-ended markers that people buy for lettering those are water soluble so any water soluble marker works great and then we do have a sharpie because we are going to draw in our sharpie because it's permanent and it won't bleed when we go to paint our markers out okay and so what we're going to do is we are going to just do like a profile picture of a llama and so we are going to start right in the middle of the face right because we want the llama to be the star of the show hi miss thomas is saying hi to you hello how's tito i'm sure he's loving having you home all the time um we're going to start at his nose will you turn that video on up there um, because we want to be able to build out and we don't want our features to be too small and that's one little tip I like to use so for my nose I'm gonna kind of start right in here not quite um, probably if I broke my paper into three sections one two three I'm gonna kind of go on this little line right here because if you think about how a llama is and you can even see on this guy his nose is pretty low on his face because we want to save room for the ears and stuff up top, okay? So basically his nose is really kind of two U-shape. Um, one is upside down, so I'm going to just go like that. See, nothing fancy. And then I'm going to come and do another one, just like that. And that's kind of that front part of his muzzle, which often in llamas is a little bit darker. And then an upside down Y. See how his nose is coming together there? Jilly's doing hers in pencil, and if you're more comfortable doing yours in pencil, that's fine, because you can go over the pencil mark with your um, Sharpie. Some people are more comfortable that way. I tend to like to just go straight in with my marker, so we could just turn it into a happy mistake, but that's okay if you are comfortable. If you didn't have a Sharpie, and you are gonna be painting with watercolors or even using these, Another option would be a maybe a black oil pastel or a black crayon because they will resist the watercolor ink and the watercolor marker when we go to introduce water to that. Okay, so I've got my two U shapes, my Y, and then I'm going to come in here and put in his little chin. He's got a cute little chin. Okay, she says, don't wait for me. I Sometimes I use her as like, a, like a, a gauge for timing, though, because I figure if she's not up with me, then maybe you guys aren't either. Or, you know, there's always the option of replaying it, which is really good with especially the younger kids, because you can draw, hit pause, draw, hit pause, take their time. Okay, so... I'm going to come up a little bit and I'm going to have eyes right here. Today we're going to, um, I'm going to do him like his eyes are closed because they have these beautiful eyelashes. So I'm coming up maybe two fingers, you know, I like to use my hands as a measure and their, their eyes are a little bit out. So I'm going to like come up straight up from the edge. And about two fingers high and so I'm gonna do a dot there and a dot here and so you probably can't see those see that and then I'm just going to kind of go and then in and I'm gonna widen those make them nice and bold How's that? All right, and then I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. Right. 
at those pretty eyelashes. And of course, if you didn't want that, you could just bring down a little bit. They kind of have a kind of a roundish shape eye. They have um, they're kind of big and glossy and black, and have these long, gorgeous eyelashes that everybody um, is envious of. Oh, hello, Tessa, Macy. How are you guys? It's good to see you. Or see your names pop up on my screen. How are you guys doing? Are you drawing along with me? Or are you going to watch it later and catch up? Okay. So they kind of have a elongated, their eyes actually come out a bit on their face and it kind of comes down. So I'm going to come and I'm going to just like that. And see mine's not perfectly even and that's okay. And you can even come along and do some some kind of chunks of hair that might be there. Put some in here, just some lines for texture. And then his neck is actually pretty skinny because it's long. So I'm going to put in those jaggedy lines a bit as I come down. And then I'm just going to do a couple. Just like that so that I have some dark texture lines. Okay? Oh, you just, you're gonna watch it and catch up later. That's actually a good way to do it, girls, because now you can watch it, and then you can gather your supplies, and then I'll be posting it for replay, and then you can use the pause button so you can take your time. Or just do part of it and then paint it tomorrow. And then, oh, just watch it later, Melanie. Maybe watch it and then replay it. All right. Is everybody catching up? Okay. So now we just have to go up above, right? So I'm going to kind of, their hair, their, they kind of have a little bit of a cone-shaped head. You can see here on him. So I'm going to kind of come up. And then his ears are a bit, kind of like, it reminds me of a peeling banana. <laughs> Does it look like a peeling banana? No? What does it look like to you? I think it looks like a banana. Anyway. There we go. And we're going to give him some texture in here too. And actually I thought of something we might do is I thought it'd be pretty if you wanted to add some flowers on his, like he was wearing a flower crown. Are you going to wear that? Do that on yours? Add some flowers? Add, we can add some pop of color for spring. Okay, so let's add in some flowers instead of doing his forehead. If you just wanted to do his forehead, you could just do a little hump right there. Okay? But I'm going to do in some simple flowers. And so I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of a circle. And then I'm just going to do some kind of funny shaped flower petals. And it's okay. If they're not perfect, because no flowers are perfect, maybe a few lines in there. Okay, and then we'll come over here and do another one. Maybe this one, the center's a little bit on its side because not all flowers you're gonna, you won't look at them all straight on, right? So I'm just going to 
come in here and I'm going to bring this petal up and then maybe this petal up and you can see I'm going over those lines I made for his head it's okay they're gonna fade away when we paint his paint put add color to it and this one I'm doing a little bit so that the flower petals are shorter in the front can you see that and I'm gonna do some dots in here with my sharpie on one side of my centers if you can see that a little bit so that it gives me some shadow okay and then maybe I'll come over here and do another one they're kind of overlapping a bit all right and then maybe there's a little sprig of greenery Just a line with some little leaves coming off like that. How's that? We might need a little bit of a regular leaf over here. Give him some hair coming down. Okay, where else we need some leaves? Maybe a little leaf here. And then maybe one coming up here in the ear. And let's do some of those bubbly lines inside the ear so we know where the shape is. And there is our spring llama. Okay. All right. So we're going to get ready to paint in a minute. So what I'm going to have for that is, I do have some color pencils here too, because you can layer those on top, but I've got my water soluble markers, some are Crayola, some are this Crazy Art brand, and I'm going to dig out, I'm going to make my llama a bit colored like my acrylic painted one back there, which we, all these Sharpies are in here. Let's see. I kind of want to get some black because I want to make a gray for my shadow parts and then what else do we have see I can't help but like reorganize it as I do it so and then I'm gonna think about my flowers I'm gonna do in like pinks and oranges Oh, fun. Okay. My, my um, best friend from college, Kim, is on here, and her and her daughter live on the East Coast, and so they are going to watch it after dinner. And she was my friend who did a lot of art classes with me. I'm going to get out some brown, too. And then I'm going to get, let's see, I'm going to have some pinks and some oranges and maybe some yellows for my flowers because we've talked about how these are all they're very similar in color so they're analogous <coughs> next door to each other on the color wheel and then for my background I'm gonna come in with like some mint and turquoise how's that sound and another little tip I have for you so I'm going to show you two ways that you can use these past these uh, markers as paint. The first one is I'm going to put some color on him and then water activate it. The other one is I have this little Ziploc bag and I'm going to show you how to make a little paint palette with your markers, okay? Jilly is still trekking along over here on her drawing. So what I'm going to do first is since I don't, ha oh I do have a little bit of gray. Okay, I'm going to take some gray and I'm going to think about, since I want my llama to be white, I just need to add in some color around his neck where there will be some shadows, maybe around the back sides, maybe up top, definitely in his little ears. And so I'm just going to loosely put in some lines there with my gray. And I may actually have to take this down because I don't want it to drip, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Because I want you to be able to see too. So I'll put some there, maybe I'll put some right here, 
and on the side here because that's going to give him some shape by putting some shadow because the light's going to hit mostly on the front and back here is going to be shadowed and giving him some shape and some form. I'm going to put a little bit on his muzzle and you can see I'm loosely coloring it in. Okay, maybe put some on the sides here. If you're using watercolor paints, um, this of course would be done the same way except you're dipping in your paints and then putting them on there, okay? And so since I've got all my gray on there, I'm gonna take my paintbrush. Let's see, I'm really wondering. I'm gonna get a little bit of this water over here. Tapping it off and then I'm gonna come in and touch it in those spots. And see how it magically water activates. See that? And it looks a lot like watercolor. And for those with little ones, it's a great way to let them paint a little bit because they're just painting with clear water. And I'm kind of blending out my edge in between where the gray is to the white. See that? I'm going to blend in his nose, pull it all the way out to that line where his muzzle is. Okay. And then come in here. like that. It's blending beautifully. And I'm coming back in with a little more water. And I'm also getting, so what's happening if you're doing this the same way is that I'm getting little parts where some are a little uh, more brown, so warm, and some are a little bit more cool, and that's okay. That's because this gray is made with a mixture of colors, and so it's just certain ones are settling. Oh, Miss Randy's on here. Jack's mom says she loves your hair. She's living her best pink hair life right now. She's been begging for pink hair forever, and Miss um, Cara's mom hooked her up with some shampoo for her birthday. So we've been washing it in there. It's actually a great way to do fun colors on your hair. I think it's made by like Viral or something. Viral Color Wash? Yeah, Viral Color Wash. She sells it in her salon. That is all Jilly wanted for her birthday. Pink shampoo. Okay, so now I've got my gray. I'm going to soften up some of these edges. Because a, 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 a llama wouldn't be perfectly white anyway, so. Touching that up because then, honestly, I'm going to come in with my color now. And you know, I maybe would add, if I have some brown, you know, because I don't like things to be only one color. So here you, here's another way. So I've got my Ziploc bag and I'm going to color some brown on there and it's going to beat up. Can you see that? It's going to beat up on there and that's okay. And then I'm going to take my wet brush. Look at that. And you've got brown paint. I'm just going to put in for some variety in him. Because he'd probably be there we go. Some darker in here and that'll help those flowers to pop, okay? All right, so now you kind of know my other method, all right? How's everybody doing out there? Is anybody actually doing this along with me or are you just watching and then gonna do it as a replay? Good, everybody's doing good, awesome. Okay, so now we gotta add in our, I'm gonna, let this dry 
because I don't want to come in with my bright colors and have them blend in. Can I see the little, there's a little fan right there. I have this, this little fan that Jilly's tossing around all there. Oh, Miss Robin is working along with us. I love this little fan. I'm gonna let my layers dry. I wanna dry, make sure this gray and this brown is dry before I move on because I don't wanna put water in other shapes and have it bleed. So that's why I'm doing this, but you can see the variety of the gray and the brown I've got now, okay? I love this little power fan. That's okay. You and Lexi can catch up later too. Just take your time. I'm on the you like that, Melanie? Too. Jilly's still drawing too. She likes to take her time. I draw kind of fast, but remember I do this a lot, so I'm comfortable just putting my lines out there, but that's what's I really encourage you guys to do the replay, watch it, and then do the replay as you um, want to because Jilly is working at a normal pace, but I, um, I'm i going to start having people knocking on my door. They're hungry to be hungry for dinner. Well, Noah's making dinner so we don't have to worry. Yes, it's Noah's night for dinner, but... Um, and Dad can help him because Dad's now like... Dad's what? Dad's a gourmet chef now. He is? Why do you... <laughs> what's with the air quotes? He, yesterday he was like, can I help you? I'm a gourmet chef. Oh. Oh, it has four eyes, Lexi? Is this a new breed? I have to see that. You have to show me pictures. Okay. So now I'm going to come in and do my florals. Oh. I'm going to, for this, I'm going to draw in, yes, Melanie, you were right. My, Jilly made dinner last night. I did help her, um, but mostly I just, I just cooked the chicken in the pan and she did the rest. Um, so he'll just, he's a boy. He sometimes wants me to tell him encourage him through every step so I often will sit there and so I'm and just tell him he's doing everything right <laughs> that's all he wants okay so I just colored a little bit see that on my ziploc you can hardly see it but it will work getting some fresh water I'm gonna start out with my lightest color because this is watercolor I'm gonna come in here and touch some I'm starting with my yellow. Maybe add in a little orange. By the time you're done with the whole thing, I'm going to be just starting painting. And that's okay. Touch some red in here. And I'm doing this when it's all wet so that it blends nicely. I wanted some of that hot pink too. I love the way pink and um, orange mix. Okay, let's get another one. I got this one a little bit gray. I missed that. I'm having pretty good luck with it not running. I'm trying to be very careful about not um, having too much water there. Oops, that's supposed to be a leaf. Man, I want some pink pink. That pink wasn't pink enough, so I'm gonna pull out this pink and see what happens. Ooh, that's a magenta, let's see what that does. Let's see, so since I'm using my Ziploc bag as my um, palette, it, um, my colors are much softer. So if I wanted them more vibrant, I could come in here with my marker 
and add some too. And this is also a great way, you know, with those markers that are um, dying and you feel like they're dried out. One, I always store them with the tip down so the ink always flows down to the bottom. And then, but if you're, if they're sort of dry, you don't need to be concerned with um, having a perfect line because you're going to activate whatever color goes down with water. So yeah, Melanie, um, well, pink and orange are next to each other. Red and orange are next to each other on the color wheel. So they're analogous. So they blend well together. So they kind of uh, make, when you blend yellow and orange together, they make this gorgeous coral color, which I really love. Okay, there's my orangey pink flowers. Now, I need some leaves. I'm going to get out some green. Super tip. Oh, that green's more blue. I don't want that. That's another nice way you can test it. Here's some good green. So I've got some dark green, and I want some lime green because I don't ever want one color. I like to have a variety. So I'm putting some lime out here. I'm going to make sure my brush is nice and clean because if I were to start, if I had a dirty brush with that red and the pink and then I went into the green, since they're opposites, they're complementary of each other, they would make me some mud, which I don't want. In here with my light green first. Just touching in all these leaves I have. And now I'm going to come in with a little bit of that darker. Just put a swipe in there and let it blend, but I don't want it to be solid dark green because that's boring sometimes. You could also be painting this with acrylics if that's what you have, or tempera, whatever you like. You are. Your Jilly is just going to town drawing these roses on her llama. So I'm kind of using that as a reference. Oh, the photo. I just have a photo over there that we're kind of looking at to give us an idea. Okay, so here we've got our llama going. And I'm going to start doing some background. And I want to come in with something um, a little bit different. So I'm going to, um, you're using your metallic, Robin. She's using her metallic. And I'm sure she'll throw in some glitter, too. And purple. And purple. Yeah, Is your purple. llama purple, Robin? Robin loves purple. Or pink. Could be pink. Oh, this one's really gunky. This uh, got some something on there. Let's see. And I don't. Ooh. So now I'm just gonna kind of come in and bring this into the background. You notice I've got two different. I'm using a little bit of the. blue and a little bit of this turquoisey color even though it drew onto my um ziploc gunky it still is working oh yes robin's gonna add glitter jilly purple oh purple you have a she's purple llama you're adding glitter or you have a purple llama oh she says the flowers will be purple and pink and orange just watch that pink and or that orange and that purple getting them they'll look really awesome next to each other but um, they blend. They, if they blend you might get yuck because it's super close to yellow which is purples complementary color next flower so for 
for those. Uh, and this is for all ages. I don't mind um, if younger ones sign up. We're doing the um, another paint party this Friday, this Saturday afternoon. Are you gonna paint with me or no? We're gonna do cactus. So that this one I've got the samples are. One is very farmhousey and neutral, and the other one is bright and vibrant, more modern. So this project is, it's a great project for all tastes and ages. It's one that I did at uh, Milkshakes and Masterpieces, and it was super popular. Was I not there? Nope. You were not. I need more marker down here. Yeah, I'm doing, uh, I am, you know, for my regulars, I am repeating some of my paintings for these free virtual ones as thought it'd be a good way to help at home, give people something to do, but you do have to sign up for it that because I'm going to put it in a free group. So you have to go to my events on my Facebook page and sign up and then that will give you access to the private group. Is it going to be in Zoom? It is going to be in Facebook Live. Oh. But within a private group, so that's why you have to sign up. It won't be on my regular page. How's that, guys? How's everybody doing? I kind of got to leave, I think I'm going to leave it soft. So, and I've got some of these that are kind of bleeding a little bit, but, or I actually went out of the lines. And that's okay. You could touch them with some water and kind of tap them with your paper towel if you want to erase it with a dry part. And those with kids, I am on out school now and I'm posting more and more classes and some are still waiting to get um, approved, but that's a fun way to get some enrichment now that we're all home. It's a, it's a um, a resource that's been out there for some time for homeschoolers, mostly homeschoolers use it, but now that everybody's at home, there's um, been a surge in signups, and I have been wanting to get activated on that, but I just hadn't had time, so this has given me the opportunity to get my kids' classes up on there. It's for ages um, 18 and under, so... Oh, Miss Melanie wants to see your finished project. You want to show her? So that's her drawing, how her drawing's coming now. She's doing it in pencil, and she's doing lots of detail with her flowers. But, um... I may need a skinny Sharpie. She might over. need a skinny Sharpie? Oh, I don't think so. You think so? I'm adding a little more color around the edges of my guy. So, I'm anxious to see everybody's. She said you want to put some of my walls on that tree like the old time. Oh, she wants to hang it on her wall. She has been working on art and stuff for her, been redecorating her room. Well, not really. I just want like to have like a big art wall yeah. of all the art I've done. She, yeah, she did her room like last year, but her walls have been a little bare, so she's been adding that. All right, so there we go. Let me take it off and give you a little look. And then I'm gonna, when Jilly's done, I will a post a picture of it. I'm taking my washi off, I had washi tape there. I'm gonna fill in a space where my, where my tape was. Okay, there we go. Miss Llama, Miss Llama with her flowers. And so, can't wait to see yours and be sure and share it. Leave me a review or share with people you think might enjoy this. That's always a super way to help me out with just me and my little small business is leaving a review and sharing it with others. Um, and hopefully I'll see some of you again on Thursday, I think, I think, 
what we might do is I have been wanting to do um, a bouquet of sunflowers like Van Gogh. Oh. Does that sound fun? Yeah. Are you sure you, you're excited? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's not sure. She's concentrating. I am excited because I love Van Gogh and I love sunflowers and I thought it would be a perfect one for all ages. Because the little ones can do it, and then the adults can um, get as detailed as they want. And then, um, I don't know what medium we'll use. Again, you can use whatever you've got. I don't know what I'm going to use, so it'll be a surprise. But it'll be a guided draw, and then just add color, and you can catch it later on a replay. I will save this one, and I have to download it to get it up on YouTube, but it'll be there soon, okay? So, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. If it's sunny by you, get outside and get some exercise and enjoy the sunshine. It's helped me in all these long days at home to be able to do that. So, I hope you all have a great night. See you later. Can you hit that finish button over there? Thanks, Melanie. You too. See everybody soon.